All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing our review for the first episode of Daryl Dixon Season 2, The Book of Carol. All right, dudes, so we got to see the premiere now for Season 2 of Daryl Dixon. Going to be a six-episode uh, second season for the series. So this is the second Walking Dead series that we've got to see now for 2024. We got to see uh, Rick's uh, and Michonne's return in uh, The Ones Who Live, which was quite epic, uh, short but epic. Um, and so now we get to see the follow-up for Daryl Dixon season two with Carol, the book of Carol. So a concentration on uh, Carol for this uh, season. And then we'll get to see The Walking Dead, Dead City uh, next year in uh, 2025 uh, for season two. That one's been pushed back. Uh, so this premiere episode makes it the seventh episode of the series. Uh, is called La uh, Gentelas Des uh, Es... Uh, strangers. Uh, so basically, what do we get to see in this episode? We get to see Carol begin her journey to find Daryl um, and finding out some information about where he is, that he's in France. Uh, and then she befriends uh, Ash, who uh, has a plane and ends up being, you know, the one to uh, go with her to fly to uh, France. So we get to see in this one almost like a, you know, flashback return for uh, Sophia, uh, for Carol, which definitely makes a lot of sense, uh, you know, considering, um, you know, it's so important, you know, her daughter and everything is so important to uh, Carol's backstory and everything and her motivations and probably some of it would always be on her mind. Um, tells uh, Ash that uh, she needs to go there to look for uh, Sophia so she can search for uh, Sophia. So, um, this episode for me, and I'll keep my review a little bit, we get to see uh, Laurent uh, uh, training with Daryl at the beginning as well too, and uh, some action with Daryl kind of in the middle of the episode, the auto repair shop and stuff with uh, Carol uh, looking for him. So, um, I thought this was like an okay premiere episode for uh, season two for, uh, you know, the Book of Carol, as it's called. Uh, you know, a lot of, like, what you would have thought that it would include, it does include, it's the beginning of Carol going to find Daryl, going to see, uh, you know, where he is. I think Ash is a good addition as a uh, another character, and I think that the Daryl Dixon series of all three of the Walking Dead spinoffs maybe has had, like, the best supporting crew, like Laurent and the others, the best, like, uh, add-in characters, I think, Compared to Dead City, they're quite forgettable, I think. And even the ones who live, uh, aside from Rick and Michonne, you know, everybody else, uh, you've got RJ and uh, Judith as well. But everybody else, like, you know, is kind of uh, forgettable, I think. So, um, you know, we would also have heard that the Daryl series, Norman Reedus is planning on doing it for several years, for several seasons. We're going to get to see season three with different locations as well, too. Uh, going to different uh, places, maybe Spain, maybe UK, maybe other places in Europe later on, if they're going to do it for more years. So uh, I think it's got a great, like, like this is a great premiere episode star for the second season. It's it's a great trajectory for the series to add Carol with Daryl, um, depending on how long she will be in the series for. I don't know if she's just going to do, you know, one season with season two, or if she's planning on with Norman Reedus, you know, continuing on and doing a, you know, having a larger group kind of travel around and stuff like that and maybe do, you know, I don't know, like a couple more years or something for Walking Dead. Um, so most of what I say about the episode, I think like it's an okay premiere. I wouldn't say it's amazing or anything like that. The stuff with Sophia is, is uh, touching for Carol. You know, the series looks different. Like as much as it, as much as it makes me think like it's Walking Dead, even the way the zombies look and stuff, like, as much as, as it is Walking Dead, it still, in some ways, kind of feels like it isn't, too. Like, like it is Walking Dead, but in other ways, like, the way it looks and everything, the look of the show, the intro's cool and everything. Uh, the locations are different, you know, obviously, uh, both even in Maine in the U.S. Uh, this is a bit different from what we're used to. And then, obviously, being in France is quite a bit different. So, it... it it's like it's still Walking Dead, but it's definitely a new show. It's definitely a new series. But I do think adding Carol in for Daryl to give him, you know, some really 
really good, important characters to go with this series, uh, which I guess, you know, it's called Daryl Dixon, right? So Book of Carol, but that's like the sub, that's like the season subtitle type thing. Uh, for the, I guess we just have to call it the Daryl series. For the Daryl series, adding Carol in is definitely going to help. And, um, you know, so, so that's good. And then any other additional characters you can add on. Uh, I wouldn't say that I was like totally blown away by the premiere or anything like that. Uh, I mean, we've seen a lot of Walking Dead at this point over the years. So it, it this one feels familiar in some ways, looks different to me for some reason. Maybe just the uh, the filming equipment stuff is so much, you know, newer and everything. A lot of close-ups on Carol and that, which I'm not, I feel like I'm not really that used to. Um, you know, just like compared to, you know, years years past in original Walking Dead, it just looks a lot different to me for some reason. Uh, even Sophia and that feels feels different. Like it definitely feels like you're watching a different show. Uh, I think that's most of what I want to say for the uh, the episodes. It'd be cool to see Carol reunited with Daryl at some point here. And also too, these seasons are only six episodes anyway, so it feels like, you know, you're watching them and it's kinda cool, whatever. Um, and, and fun, but, you know, also at the same time, it doesn't feel that big in scale to me because of the limited run, right? Because you have such a limited run, it's not like they're getting into a 16-episode season and they've got, like, all these other characters they want to bring in and new characters and all kinds of other characters coming back and stuff. It's just very concentrated on Daryl, very concentrated on Carol in this one, too. And um, so for that, you know, it's, it's like... Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but it kind of feels like in some ways like a streamlined episode, like a, like a bottle episode for original Walking Dead. So in terms of the score for this premiere episode, season two, Book of Carol, Darthix, I'm just going to give it a 7 out of 10. Thought it was good, the plane was cool and everything, the zombies were okay, I guess. And uh, some of the action stuff was okay from the Daryl side, but I didn't, I don't know, there was something missing for me a little bit, maybe it's just because, you know, there's been a lot of breaks in between Walking Dead and everything, um, you know, we're kind of used to seeing it more, you know, frequently when we would have more episodes on and, and they'd be longer, you know, run and everything and other things to look forward to. But in this one, getting to see Carol and Daryl reunited is something to look forward to, so that's good. And it's just like, you know, kind of, Something like, you know, it's it's still Walking Dead, I guess, um, you know, in a different format. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let Leave a comment below. What do you think about the format of the six-episode spinoff series compared to the old Walking Dead format? The thing about it is with me is, like, when you did the 16-episode seasons, season to season, it felt more like um, a big undertaking to me. It felt like kind of like more of like a a big commitment, a big undertaking, and that you were getting something more substantial. The six episode seasons, while, you know, they're, um, you know, maybe that's all you can do because you don't have that many characters to work with. Uh, you're concentrating on just a couple per one that maybe you kind of have to have that limited run because it's not like you have a huge roster. You know, it's not like you have all Carol, Daryl, Rick, Michonne, and everybody in one show. Then you could definitely do 16 episodes. Um, but because you just have two of them, it's like six episodes. Yeah, you know, it's cool, but you kind of you, you kind of just get into it. And by the time you get into it, it's kind of over, right? It's, it's like, um, you know, uh, so yeah. I mean, that's that's basically my thoughts on the preview. It was okay. It was, it was pretty good. But um, it doesn't feel like as big of a deal to me as old school, you know, 16 episode seasons of Walking Dead did like you know felt like they they felt like a bigger bigger deal to me felt like there was more at stake um you know just kind of felt like it was more of an immersive that's I think that's the word there is is more of an immersive experience rather than going into these you know six episode seasons kind of knowing what you're getting that you're getting a little bit of that familiar Walking Dead which is still good in different locations and, and different character concentrations but also that it's not the big the big 16 episode seasons that we used to get for Walking Dead at the same time so it's not that kind of commitment it's like a shorter you know little little thing you're getting into so not that the premiere is bad or anything but I'm gonna give it a seven it was just good for me but it wasn't like you know anything super amazing or anything so let me know what you guys think leave your comments below before you leave if you don't mind thumb the uh, video up below share favorite subscribe at the bottom and uh, i'll see you guys again soon for another video as always this trap same peace later guys see you soon